Uh, yeah, Chris from Splinter Society Architecture here to present our renovation project called the Colonnade House. Um, this is in East Melbourne and a renovation to a, um, a Federation heritage home. Our client, uh, for an artist, so she's an artist and for her family, she's got two teenage children. Um, our, clients, our clients bought this heritage home but really wanted a full concrete house, which kind of threw a bit of a conundrum. Um, and they didn't, they had a good budget, but not a massive budget. And we all know what building a house out of concrete costs when you're doing a big, uh, big renovation. So we sort of looked to develop a material palette that met a lot of the elements of her brief. One kind of looked and felt, had the qualities of concrete, had that monumentality, that massing. They were after a real timeless sense. They wanted a renovation that respected the heritage home uh, but was different to it. There were a lot of qualities they didn't like about the old home. I uh, don't know why they bought it, but um, um, so it sort of set up this dialogue between new, uh, between new and old, but a sympathetic relationship. So on their budget, we um, and the fact they wanted concrete. So it was what, what materials can we use? But it was also well, how can we get the most out of concrete? So we we looked at the old building. They loved the old colonnaded veranda and. So we said, well, why don't we develop a colonnade of concrete columns that runs through the middle of the renovation? And then we'll wrap the living spaces around it. You can kind of embed yourself within that concrete and experience it in lots of different ways. So we use that as a device then to filter the northern light to, to create divisions between rooms. Um, the old house didn't connect well to the garden, so we used this colonnade as a way to connect, lead the old house through and out into the garden. Um, she really loved small, cosy spaces, um, and like I said, she was an artist, so between the columns, a lot of day beds were built, spots for her to display sculpture, um, and to really give that kind of, the feeling that they wanted, kind of without splashing the material that they desired everywhere. They loved the small room feel of the Federation home, um, rather than the big open plan feel, so we've created smaller spaces that link through this colonnade, so they've got their own spatial definition, but they, um, but they uh, still have their own sense of enclosure. And then as you can see, so the colonnade runs on that line through the middle, and then on the right hand side you've got lighter weight, cheaper construction, but still articulated in a monumental way to still give that sense of weightiness and, and, that the con and monumentality that the concrete gives. So you can see, the, um, this is the plan, the, the, the front is the old Federation home with all the rooms, we, re uh, we moved all the kind of private, more intimate spaces into there. Um, the teenage kids had almost sort of ho hotel-like setups for their bedrooms with their own en suites so they can um, stay in the house longer. Um, and then we brought the main entry down the side to the midpoint of the house. So you, so you walk around and experience the old Federation home and all its detail and elegance. And then you enter into what's a dramatic void uh, and from there you see the colonnade lead you down through the garden. The kitchen and dining spaces um, look out to the north through the colonnade and the west to the, uh, the lawn. Her studio was built in the backyard. And um, so it's sort of, as I said, it's quite open plan, but it continues these sort of smaller, still intimate pattern of, of, of room or devices to divide the spaces up. So that's, that's the entry. So you, there's... Um, you come down the side of the Federation, the, the little snippet there is the front facade which shows some of those kind of classic um, Federation timber work details that we will pick up on as we go through the detail of the home. And then it's quite unassuming in your main entrance um, as you follow down the garden path. You, you step into this, um, into this void or atrium void which is um, with, with the, uh, the chair and then you get a little peek as you swing to the left uh, to the lounge room between the columns there. Uh, so a lot of this, a lot of the finer timber work detail from the the period home we picked up on, and, and also the textures of the stucco we sort of replicated with some of the granites we used, and we tried to pick up on that finer detailing with some of the functional decoration we needed in the home. So uh, this was they, they drink a lot of wine, they wanted a good wine glass drying rack, so we got one laser cut with these little kind of um, slices out of it that picked up on some of the um, again the detail from the front of the home. Uh, they loved the cosiness and the intimacy of the old rooms, but wanted to modernise them. So all the bay windows and the, 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 that warmth of the old photo showroom was retained, but just modernised and given a bit of colour, a bit of texture. Uh, same with the bathrooms. They're quite, they're quite simple, pared back, but elegant. Um, 
So the other thing about the Federation home is these, these gabled floating roof forms, and we, and we didn't want to do a flat roof extension on the back. It had to have some relationship, but they wanted to, again, strip back, abstract the detail of the home. So how do we replicate that? And we painted the old house. It's really dark, kind of green, because that, again, it, it's, it sort of abstracts the detail a little bit, and so you read that, and then it's picked up on through the metalwork as you go into the new part of the home. So you can see that gable form there that carries right through and reflects in a very stripped back way what, what the Federation House has at the front. Um, they have a beach house down at Phillip Island in the sand dunes, love the grass, love the paddock, so they wanted this house to feel like it was in a meadow sort of landscape as well, so there's a lot of perennials that come up through a mix of uh, uh, different native grasses and, and, and manicured grasses, and that the pool's surrounded by that, the fence kind of comes out of the grasses. Um, again, you can see it's just that monumental, uh, monumental kind of uh, quality that she wanted, but with a softness, a texture, um, a, a, an elegance to, as a backdrop for her, for her artwork. Um, we, in extending out to the south of the block, we reoriented so that the, the, all the living spaces now face to the north. There's the high-pitched roof there with north light that comes in. And throughout the day, there's a real control of natural light. Um, again, being an artist, the way things are lit and surfaces and texture was really important to her. So seasonally, the house changes and evolves a lot. You can see there the way the pool connects, connects to the lounge room and some of her art pieces on the inside there. Um, adjacent to the dining table, some large cupboard doors that have the kids' study spaces or the family home offices behind them, so they all slide to... It's quite a, she can have the functionality of of day-to-day -day life in the house and then it can all be hidden away to go back to this more stripped back aesthetic. And I wanted to finish with a quote from our client because at the end of the day, this house was really about them, their brief and the way they wanted to live. And she, um, clients don't often give you nice quotes about the houses you've designed for them, but she actually, I think, nailed it. So. I just want to read that to finish off with. She said, um, this is a house that exudes timeless reverence. Our home is a beautiful marriage of form and function, of grandeur and cosiness, a seamless flow from old to new and new to old, a sanctuary from the busy world outside. The seasonal changes captured by the design bring comfort and enjoyment all year round, connecting the inside to outside. The aesthetics imbue a calming and spiritual place. Our home is an entertainer's dream and we, as a family, all have space to entertain, work and relax, promoting positive psychology for us and those who enter our home. We love our home. And I think that really captures up all the things they wanted in their brief and it's nice to see that she's feeling that in the delivered product. So, thank you.